Hi. Um, we're going to create a peacock today. So I will sketch first our peacock. Um, this would be my branch where our peacock <coughs> is sitting down. And that's my peacock's body. Just like that. Um, I'm going to, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to try to do the finger painting. I'm not going to use palette knife or brush. For our background, we can use the <clears throat> cobalt blue from Liquitex Basic and an ocean green from Master Touch and um, turquoise abstract brand and then turquoise blue from Liquitex Basic, um, burnt Shanna from Liquitex Basic, and uh, parchment color from Liquitex basic and then portrait pink for our background so since this is going to be a finger finger painting you can use um gloves if you want but i found a finger gloves i got it from amazon so you just do like this like a finger gloves just like that so and um, the only bad part with this one is this part in here it kind of like cut the little bit of blood so I'll show you later on what I do so if I do my finger painting this is what I try to do usually I don't do the pinky because the pinky I'll just do like this when I do it <clears throat> so to make this a little um, breathable for my finger I kind of cut it in there if it's like this one see I just cut it so it's not too tight like that not too much just to to make it um breathable for my finger and sometimes I cut the top too because it get kind of moist when you do a bigger project and you want to do a finger painting. I kind of cut it there too to breathe. You know, it's still going to be moist in there when you're done, but not as bad. So for now, we're going to use our background. I'll use this raw umber from Liquitex so I try to use the dark <clears throat> dark part in the corner if you notice on some of my paintings they're darker than the parchment so it's just dab dab kind of blend them together more of the raw umber and just topping just like 
that and then just give a hint of our color palette in our plate we kind of add it I'm getting a hint of them so it's up to you what are the colors you want so I need to hold my easel because the, the dubbing and the topping are just moving our canvas panel so just like that but if you don't want the gloves or the finger gloves that's fine too make it <clears throat> just your finger in in the um kind of center part of our peacock use more of the lighter color so the peacock feather color later on that we're going to use will pop up so, finger painting doesn't really for me doesn't really work when it is small project it's harder to do maybe it will but you just need to be very 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 careful very 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 careful so and I am adding the um portrait paint just like that so this uh, ring finger is not even used as much <clears throat> you don't need to put gloves in there if you want to but if you don't want to get messy you just go ahead and put some gloves in there I use a very um in a lot of paint very very generous to my paint so just like that I'll go load more parchment color because I ran out of parchment if you don't have parchment color oh sorry you can use um white titanium white and then just mix it with a hint of yellow so just like that so as you can see there's a lot of paint in there and that will give us um, texture later on when it dries up it's pretty okay this looks a lot right now but it's what we want oops yeah I don't want it too dark in there because I want my better color to show better I'm just mixing mostly the parchment color, um, ocean green, yellow umber, like that. All right, for our um, brunch, I will use. You can replace your um, 
gloves as well if it's too much like this one I can't really use because I still have paint in my gloves so let me kind of clean it up or you can just take it off and use a different different gloves if you want but I'll use the raw umber for my brunch I run out of raw umber so I need to reload again so and then just kind of dab it we'll highlight it later on when it's kind of dry so be very generous with your painting it's okay to have a lot in there that's what we want so we have texture just like that More some in here. Since there's still wet, um, you can kind of try to add it or wait until it is a little dry. You can do that too. Then I'll continue my background. And don't worry, we can um blow dry it to get the time that we want or we can just leave it and then come back the next day or whenever it's dry so for this background there's going to be a lot of um, parchment or titanium white if you don't have parchment okay I need to be careful in here on my head up tiny hint of ocean green I don't do a lot of finger painting, but it's fun once in a while to, to do it. It just eats a lot of paint and um, messy. To me, it's so very messy. A lot messy. So, kind of try to blend these color here in the corner I don't want it to to um separated or I want it like kind of continuous color like this one in here needs to blend Okay, so our background is done. Um, I don't really want to use the same gloves for our peacock. So I'm going to take it out. So this is pretty much a trash. So this is now a trash. And it's really messy. So be very, very, very careful.
And the good thing with the cut as well is easy to pull and then just take it out. Let me just clean my fingers because it's even though you have a glove still you see a lot of it so i'm going to add another maybe just one for now i'm not gonna be because i'm need to be very careful with it so if you don't want a gloves it's fine like i said it's fine so i'm just going to cut a tiny piece in there there you go just kind of breathe out now let's um we can add our wings first wing because it's only one side all right i'm going to use the cobalt blue and just in the tip just like that so that's for the wings in the um the belly part kind of try to mix the um raw shana i think yeah it is raw shana i don't know raw umber mix the raw umber to your cobalt blue and then add it there and the uh, belly part so it's a, a darker can add some turquoise in there too just in the belly right, I'm pretty much wiping my gloves because I don't want to keep reusing different gloves so I'm trying to kind of save a little bit as well I reload again a raw umber you can use a um, marsh black if you want for this part this is going to be here in the top in the back of our um, peacock for now then we can layer it later with a different color okay Right, and then the not really the neck but the chest part I will use the um, turquoise basic liquidex basic turquoise blue and the abstract turquoise mix kind of together just like in the chest part like that then try to Kind of blend them again. Just keep on it like that. Okay, and then the back of our head and the neck part um, it needs to be dark as well. But for now, we can probably use this. Um, the raw umber. But I didn't clean my gloves. So there's a hint of color in there. Which is pretty. Just like that. Then I will do the cobalt blue in the neck. To the face. And the head. Just like that. So our beak and our 
surrounding area of our eyes needs to be titanoid. So that's why it's it's good to use the parchment color. So there's a difference between your background. So if you don't have parchment, then it's kind of kind of weak. And then for now, I'll just go ahead and mush it all in there. Oops. And we really need to be careful, or else they kind of. It's good if you have a bigger canvas, bigger project. It's easier to play around, but this one is because we don't have too much space. So they kind of blend together. Okay. And we can um, tweak it later on with the Um, brush um this is cobalt blue so I just paint this much very just like in the tip I'm not really trying to push a lot We can highlight it later on. This is just the base for now. Oops. So we need to be careful. So I'm just getting extra paint from our canvas already since we have it. Covering <coughs> some of the space. So we can do five. And then we can add a dark turquoise. Then the light here. Dark that's the dark blue turquoise and then the turquoise it's so it's still wet. Just kinda play with it. And the ocean green on the top. Then we're going to use the green gold from Muncher and Newton. On the very, very, very dark. Just to add spice in there okay we can add uh, more details later on so i'm just wiping my finger to kind of take out the remaining paint that's in there and then i will try to add my eyeball that's for now we will fix that later on so let's go back to no let's go ahead and do our tail so this time I will be doing this so I'll be using two gloves I need to cut that part be careful not to cut your finger in get your skin cut so I'll use the um, cobalt blue this part I'm just kind of doing like this for now so this is a mix of cobalt blue and the turquoise blue from Mm. They're both liquid jets. 
So I just do like that. And then I want to mix it with this olive green a little bit. Kind of. And do that. And then the um Jenna. Just a tiny bit like that. So we're going to have like circles in there with the um, the pattern of the pickup tail later. This one's just for okay. Let's start that part. I'm going to add a little bit of, I'm just going to kind of play around with my color, what I have in here in, in the plate. So, I don't want to waste it. And it's good to have different color anyways. Like that, but mostly this is gonna be a couple of blue. This one, let's do a couple of blue. Things like that. Mm -hmm. That's just our base for our tail. Okay, and then let's go back to our back. I think it's a little dry now. So let's put a hint of blue in there, a couple of blue. And this one would be the um, ocean green. It's just like that. It's kind of on the top of it. Also the neck part. I need to put a highlight in the neck part. Like that. And then our um, wings wing because it's only one side we do the green the olive green just to kind of highlight it then just a tiny bit for the tip of our wings wing again sorry Kind of have an edge. Then we can add um, light yellow. Just a small one because it's just a highlight. It's not really a lot. So just a highlight here in the back. We can highlight it again later. Um, this time I'm going to do yellow for our, our circles. It's like a yellow like that. And then the ocean green. Like that. I'm just trying to kind of make a C, but it's like look like a blob for now because um our finger is too big like that 
don't forget your light green light green makes it pop really great just put it in the side see and light green mixed with olive green or green gold from Munchar and then just gonna try to that will be our feather we'll make it better like that and then we're going to add a lot of these in all of our tail so just um, follow your pattern yellow motion green cobalt blue then your green your light green Just like that. And then another one here, yellow. You can also do yellow to kind of get it faster. I'm just trying to kind of make it me. And the the farther I go, make it look bigger. Then ocean green. So we can hint it with <clears throat> Regina. Make that part. There's a tiny one. Just a hint of it. Not a lot. Then our cobalt blue. This is like the middle of our, um, the center of our feather decoration. And don't forget, <clears throat> since this is bigger, you can add the um, abstract brand turquoise. It's pretty if you add. And next to that, blue. You don't want to do finger painting. You can also do um by brush with this. This is harder to do in here because it's already too much stuff, so I'm not going to add it there. And of course, don't forget your green. Your green is the one that makes it pop. There's no peacock without green to me. Green is there. There. Alright. I think that's enough. I think you can add more in here. Let's add more in here. Let's add that. Blah, blah, blue. There. I think that's enough so i'm going to kind of just brush with my fingernails this is my fingernails here you can use um green gold and light green to just like that 
you can use the brush too if you want but since this is a finger painting so i'll try to do finger painting you know those little tiny feathery Just add it that way. Add a little bit of Shana portrait pink. Just add all those colors in there. So I'm just adding and mixing all of my colors, so just to keep adding it. And we'll come back later on. Maybe we can add more colors to pop. Maybe. And I'm going back to the um, brunch. So I'm going to add some mold in my brunch. You can add how many brunch you want. You can add brunch going down like that. So then just don't forget to do the highlight. It's like the mold. I like to put mold in my brunches. Since it's hard to um, do this detailed part in the eyeball, I will use the brush. That's the only exception, I think. I will use the brush. Okay. Get the brush. Um, I'm going to use the parchment color. And then just kind of create an eyeball effect in there. It's still wet. Also our beak is the dark part.
And then don't forget the nose. And do the nose like that. Let's add a green in our the head part of our um peacock in here and some in there. You get it highlighted a little bit. And then a cobalt blue just on the side part oops just like that alright since it's so hard to have a highlight in in there I will use again the the brush that we used from the eyeball Just a tiny highlight and don't forget to add some green I like some green in my peacock alright then we can add green in here that 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 and probably here that 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 little bit in the belly like I said I like cleaning my peacock and I will add a lot of um, deep turquoise in there and romber Asian green and green I will extend my feather not my feather wings like that Okay, so this one in here is a little um, blah, so I'll add a little extra color color in there. Yo, add some Shanna color spice up in there. Maybe a little bit of green. Just a little bit. Then we can add more ocean green, streaks of ocean greens. I'm just doing this much and then I'm kind of dragging. Drag, drag, just like that. Don't forget the yellows. And don't forget your Shana. And don't forget your pink portrait. It's just like a highlight. It's good to kind of like do that. 
gonna fit it by now. Not just oblong. I'm just doing this much. Oops. I just ruined my wing. There. I'm just doing highlights, adding more colors. Of Shana in here, so I'm just gonna add that to my highlight of my branches. So You can add a little bit of cobalt blue too if you want. It's nice too, too. especially in the dark, dark side of your branch. It adds um beauty. So, and then I will add like the titanium white. Or, you know what, I'll use the parchment since I have my plate and got too much. So I'll add like a, a dot in the blue. Oh, that's too much. It's supposed to be just a tiny bit highlight. Just like that. Green. I like my green. I do like my green a lot. Okay. Our blue is gone in here, so I'll just add some blue. Okay, so you can add more of these if you want, maybe here and there, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, pretty, I'm pretty happy to what I have. Just adding more of the color that I have in my plate. Let's don't waste these colors. This is pretty much a, uh, um, I can't say this color because they mix together. So I'm just adding colors to my All right, we can add some maybe leaves if you want.
I'm just using all of my paint. And I should be done. Oops, that's too much. I'm trying to blend the leaves to the background because we don't really want the leaves to be popping because we don't want it taking the spotlight of our um, pickup. So I'm just adding more of the parchment color. Kind of dubbing it. Blending it a little bit. There you go. That is our finger painting peacock. How you like it? Leave me a comment down below if you like. Follow me on Facebook. jjburton.com Um... No, JJ Burton for the Facebook. Um, check out my website, backyardcoyandart.com. If you have comment, if you have question, let me know. Um, and thank you for joining me with this video. Thank you for your time. And I hope you will join me again on my next video. Thank you for watching.